So when we were first looking to fit uh, the 088, the 088 had an eight pin drive rim. And you've got to be careful of that because it was too big to get on the, actually on the bar. So we haven't got chain braking equipment here, so we couldn't add a link. So you can see here, it, it does look quite tight up against even the seven pin. You can see there's, there's not much gap there at all, but as soon as we run this up, there'll be a, a bit of, uh, a bit more slack in the chain and then we should be able to tension it and get a bit more clearance between the end of the bar and the Pressing and the on the bottom clamp of the Gramberg, saws off the ground and the same with the 880 at the end. When you do that, you can see the bar's quite straight there and that's because the, the weight of the power head or the weight of the both power heads act as a lever an upward force on the middle of the bar so if you didn't have the power heads there the weight of the bar will sag will make it sag and got a winch kit on there now it's going to be tested out there because we've got I'm going to be running the two power heads, we'll put it back on there and then the person on the end really, all they're doing is operating the throttle but if we had a, if we had a remote throttle for here this is where the remote throttle could really come into its own we could have a remote throttle on that saw running down here to the handle of this or just somewhere where you can operate it on that bit then one person could operate the whole thing so with your, if you are going to run a double-ended setup, don't introduce that straight into the log. Um, run it up for a good bit first, check the chain tension, get the chain nicely oiled. Don't just go straight from setup straight to milling or you're more than liable to derail the chain. And that could burn the drive links and then you've pretty much had it really, apart from you've got another hour of chain. <laughs> We're just going to travel, we'll set the mill down to two and a half inches, and we'll just use that existing cut to travel. <laughs>
Doors four feet wide. Yeah, you, you, well, you're not going to want to lift that much, are you? No. Well, they could just stay there for two and a half years now. No one's licking them. Whatever base, John.